hello, good morning once again, my dear Matayum 2 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Okay, so today we're going to continue our lesson on the operations with the polynomial. Okay, so we are here now with the multiplication. Multiplication of monomial by a binomial and binomial by a binomial. Okay, so how we can multiply these terms? Now we have here our examples. So we have first we have the monomial by a binomial. So when you say monomial is only one term, and we're going to multiply that with a binomial means two terms. So we have here two terms. Okay, so when we multiply this, we multiply this normally. Okay, and we apply here the properties of exponent, like the product property. Okay, so we just distribute the outside term, we multiply to the inside term. So like here we have 2 times 3, okay, that would be 6, right? And we have here the answer for that. So if there's 2 times 3 is 6, okay? And we carry on with x power, uh, x, y power 2, okay? Because there's no variable x here or y. So we just only multiply the number 2 times 3 times x, uh, x, y power 2. Then we have 6, x, y power 2, okay? Next, with the second term, 2 times negative 5. So that would be a positive and a negative will give you a negative. We have here. And 2 times 5 is 10. Okay? So therefore, the product of these uh, terms are 6xy power 2 minus 10. Okay? Now we go to number 2. We have here 5xy times x power 3y plus 2xy. So we have here a monomial and we have here the binomial. Okay, first, the first term first. We have 5xy times x power 3y. We have here the answer. You have 5 times 1 is 5. Then applying the property, you have here the product property. We have the same base, x and x. So we add the power, right? So we have your x power 1, then plus, uh, power, plus 3. So we have here power 4, right? So we just copy the base, x. Na? And we have here also with y, the base is y and the y. And we have here the power 1 and the power 1. So it, uh, it makes power 2. Okay, so, so applying here the product property. Now the second term, so 5 times 2 is 10. Now we have, we have here positive and a positive will give you a positive, right? Okay, now we have here 5 times 2 is 10. Now with a variable x times x will give you x power 2. And y times y will give you y power 2. Okay, so for monomial, so a binomial or monomial by a, monom a monomial is just only distribute the outside term to the inside term. Okay, just multiply. Distributing to multiply the outside term to the inside term. Okay, question about this? No, Shamai. Now we go to number three and number four. So we have here negative two, uh, negative y rather times 2xy minus 3, okay? So again, we do the same. We have negative y times 2y power 2. We'll give you negative 2y power 3. We have your power 1 plus 2. It will give you 3, right? Now next, we have here the inner term is 1. Negative y times negative 3, negative and negative will give you a positive, right? And y times 3 will give you 3y. Okay, now again, we have here a negative. So as much as possible, we don't have a negative uh, term in the beginning. So we're going to swap it with the 3y. So therefore, we can say 3y is equal to 2y power 3 as our final answer. Okay, so again, remember that as much as possible, our first term here would be a positive. Nah? Now, the fourth example we have here, 5 times x power 2, the quantity of x power 2 minus 2x. We have here 5 times x power 2 will be 5x power 2. And 5 times uh, negative 2 will give you a negative 10 when you have here the x. Okay? So therefore, the product between 5 and the quantity of x power 2 minus 2x is 5x power 2 minus 10x. Okay, my Question? No. Now we go to the binomial and binomial. 
So we have here a binomial by a binomial. So we have a binomial by a binomial. Now this one here, we're going to use, we have here a method. We call it FOIL or FOIL method. Okay, what is FOIL method, by the way? So F stands for the first. O is the outer. I is the inner. And L is the last. Now if we're going to have here, we have here the example. So you have your binomial by a binomial. Okay, we're going to multiply this to binomials. Now, again, binomial is two terms. Okay, so first is we have the first or F. First multiply to the first of the second term. Na? Okay, my. So we multiply that first times the first here. So that would be 14x power 2, right? Okay, 7 times 7 will give you 14. And x times x is x power 2. Okay, next is O. Outer. Outer. So the outer is this one. The outer of this uh, uh, binomial here on the left side will be 7x. And the outer on this second uh, uh, binomial will be 4 on the right side, right? So we multiply that 7x times 4, positive 4, will give you positive 28x, okay? So 7 times 4 is 28, okay? Now next is I, which is inner. We multiply the inner to the inner. So you have here the inner. Inner means in the, like in the center, like in the inner part, in the inside part. Okay, so that would be um, for this for this group we have negative three and for this group we have two x. Na? so we have negative three times two x will give you negative six x. Remember we have negative and positive will give you a negative, right? Negative six x. And the last one is L or the last. Na? so we have here the last one for the last of this uh, group is negative three and the last of this uh, group is positive four. So negative times positive is negative, and 3 times 4 is 12. Na? And that one we simplify because we have like terms. So the like terms here, we have here the variable x with the variable x, right? Okay, so we, have, we can add this. 28 uh, plus a negative 6 will give you positive 22. Na? 28 plus or minus 6 will give you a 22. Na? And carry on with the x. Then we have minus 12. So therefore, the product of that two binomials are 14x power 2 plus x, uh, 22x minus 12. Okay, my question. Now we go to the next example. We have here. So you have 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 1. So we just, again, f first. We have 2x times 3x is 6x power 2. Then the outside, 2x times negative 1 will give you negative 2x. Nah? Next is the inner. Negative 3 times 3x will give you negative 9x. And the last, negative 3 times negative 1 will give you positive 3. Okay? And that we simplify. So we have here like terms, negative 2x minus negative 9x will give you negative 11x. So therefore, the product for these two binomials, we have here 6x power 2 minus 11x plus 3. Okay? Now number 2, we have 3 minus 5y times y plus 2y power 2. Okay? So we have first f, 3 times y will give you 3y. Next is the Outer, O, 3 times positive 2y power 2 will give you plus 6y power 2. Okay? And we have here the inner. We have negative 5y. And y will give you negative 5y power 2. Okay? And we have here our last. Negative 5y times positive 2y power 2 will give you negative 10y power, uh, power 3. Okay? Now again, we can check if we have like terms. We have here like terms, 6y power 2 minus 5y power 2 will give you 1y power 2 or y power 2. So therefore, our product for this two binomial, we have 3y plus y power 2 minus 10y power 3. Okay, my question. Now, share my. Now we have here our last examples. Okay, so we have here our last numbers. We have uh, number 3 and 4. 
We have uh, number 3, we have the binomials 3 plus, uh, x plus 5 times 2x minus 3, right? So first we have the first x times 2x will give you 2x power 2. Then x times negative 3 is negative 3x, okay? Then the inner, uh, positive 5 times 2x is plus 10x. And we have the last, we have positive 5 times negative 3 will give you negative 15, okay? Now we combine like terms here. We have this one. So negative 3 plus 10x will give you plus 7x. So therefore, the product is 2x power 2 plus 7x minus 15. Okay? Now we have here the last number. We have the binomials x plus 2y and y minus x. Okay? So again, we do the same. Even though that we, are, we have all variables or whatever is that term, then we just follow the FOIL method. So first, x times y will give you xy. Then the outside x times negative x is negative x power 2, right? Then we have there the inner 2y times y will give you 2y power 2. And we have the last 2x, uh, 2y positive 2y times negative x is negative 2xy. Now we're going to check if we have like terms. Do we have like terms here? Uh, we have here xy and negative 2xy. So that would be a negative xy. So therefore, the product for these two binomials, we have 2y power 2 minus xy minus x power, x power 2. Okay, my question. My question, my question, my. No question, she, my. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, we're going to continue more about polynomials tomorrow. Okay, so see you. Bye-bye.